So I come from a very musical family. My uh, father was a composer, my mom was a music teacher, and we all had to play an instrument in the house. And I, I, I chose the violin. Music was always a very important part of our family. I guess when I was a teenager, I was mostly into listening to um, rock music, uh, indie guitar stuff. And then from one day to the next, I heard all kinds of different sounds. I guess it started with listening to bands like Nine Inch Nails, which had lots of electronics in their music and still had a very rocky edge. The next thing would be listening to the Chemical Brothers Underworld, which was already pretty techno. And then, you know, I was like, okay, let's, what else is there? So I guess when I started to listen to electronic music, I realized pretty quickly that it's something you can really make yourself. I moved to a city in the Netherlands called Enschede, and this is where I studied. There was a, a DJ competition at the local pop venue, and they were looking for new residents. And I, di I did win it, even though I played with uh, CDs at the time, which meant there was no mixing. I was just playing one track after the other. And I guess they liked the music that I played, so. That's basically how my DJ career started. I um, played every two weeks on the Thursday night and um, started doing my own Saturday nights at some point as well. This, for me, was, was the best way to start learning how to DJ, because I learned on the spot, I learned in front of a, an audience, even though it was not a big audience, uh, maybe like 100, 200 people. But I did learn how to kind of work the crowd and how to actually beat match. So then I was reading about uh, electronic music a little bit and I, I learned that there was a thing called the Groovebox MC303. You could do your own drum patterns and create your synth lines and whatever else you could possibly do with music. And I was like, wow, okay. And for me that was perfect because I was right away able to make uh, my own music with just one machine. And that was the beginning of, I guess, the beginning of my producer's career. So when I got into DJing, my focus went mostly to techno. Techno for me was the most in inspiring. When I finished my studies in Enschede, I moved to Rotterdam and I came into this big city and um, there was already a big uh, infrastructure of DJs and producers that had their place. For me, it was very hard to, to fit in. So I, I started to just make my own music. Rotterdam was really, they, they kind of called it the Detroit of the Netherlands. There was a lot of melodic techno coming from there. Also the harder, harder sounds came from Rotterdam, like GABA music, for instance. But that, that was definitely an inspiration, I think, at that time, where I really was trying to develop my sound and diving deep into melodic techno. Detroit-inspired uh, tracks, um, things like that.